Hi, I'm Samara Hebron. I'm the 18th District State Representative. I'm a proud 2010 graduate of Grayson County High School, and I currently live in my hometown of Litchfield. I'm also the proud dog mom of Rosie, who is a golden retriever. Right after high school, I went to WKU, Western Kentucky University, and graduated with an advertising and graphic design degree in 2014. Right after college, I ended up moving to Washington, D.C., where I received an internship with U.S. Congressman Brett Guthrie. He's our second district congressman, so he represents Grayson County. My last day of my internship, I got a job offer with U.S. Senator Rand Paul, where I became a staff assistant and I eventually was his scheduler for almost two years. I decided right after that I was ready to come home and serve my commonwealth in a different way. I was ready to move back home to Kentucky, so I got a job with Kentucky State Treasurer Allison Ball where I was her director of initiatives. I worked on all sorts of different projects, including transparency, financial literacy, stable Kentucky, and unclaimed property. So in September of 2019, I got notice that our 18th district state representative had resigned from his position. And so after a lot of thoughts and prayers and a few tears along the way, I decided to put my name in, in the hat to run as the Republican nominee. In November 2019, when I was elected, I became the youngest female ever elected to the Kentucky State House of Representatives. The reason I ran for office was not only to help the community that helped raise me, but also to show that young people have a voice in government. I want young women and young men to realize how important it is to be civically engaged. That's one of our biggest duties, I think, as citizens. And so I hope that as in my time here as the 18th District State Representative, I'm able to show that civility and kindness matter when you're a government official. So I was part of all types of different clubs, Pep Club, National Honor Society, and most importantly, I was involved in DECA all four years at Grayson County High School. Um, my senior year, I was vice president, and I was so thankful for the opportunity to be part of DECA, um, just because it helped me learn to be more professional, and that's been very helpful for me along my way uh, in politics. Uh, and serving in, in government. I was also part of the Grayson County High School volleyball team. Coach Harris and Coach Mudd were my coaches and uh, I really enjoyed just having the team atmosphere. One of my favorite memories of my time at GCHS was my junior year of high school when the boys basketball team made it to the Kentucky State Tournament. It was such a fun time being able to be with all my classmates and cheering on the guys while they played at Rupp Arena. GCHS prepared me for life after graduation because the teachers encouraged me and they believed in me. One of my favorite teachers is Mr. Brent Weedman, still to this day, even after 10 years. And I remember he sat down with me one day and told me that I needed to start applying myself. And it was so true because I was always just did things to kind of get by. Although I was a good student, um, I didn't know how to study and I didn't know how to apply myself. And that conversation has always stuck with me because it, in times when I don't feel like I'm able to apply myself, I'm reminded that Mr. Weedman's there trying to encourage me still. To keep myself humble, I want to share one of my most embarrassing memories of my Grayson County high school career, and that was my freshman year of high school, my very first day. I was walking outside to the senior parking lot to the pickup line, and I tripped over the sidewalk, and I was remember how humiliated I was. But I'll never forget that a girl stopped beside me and helped me up and asked if I was okay, and that leads me into my words of encouragement. Always be kind, we are all going through so much, and if you can offer a kind word or just being helpful, I encourage you to do that. But also, let being from Litchfield only empower you to do great things. There are so many people all over the world making a difference from Litchfield, and I just wanna encourage you to be that type of person. Go out there and make your mark, but don't forget where you came from.